Hello beautiful people of the YouTube land and welcome back to another episode of the BMW E46 Drift Build. And this episode is episode 5 and on this episode we're going to be turning this into this. And the way I'm going to do that is with this two and a half inch to three inch adapter. So this is going to slide over my original exhaust pipe because it's a two and a half inch system that's the original exhaust pipe on the car. Then I'm going to be joining this three inch part to this three inch straight through mild steel exhaust pipe. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so first up, I'm going to get my exhaust pipe and I'm going to lay it across here and get it in the middle of the bumper bar so I can work out where I need to cut this exhaust pipe to make it run straight out the back so that it's not coming out at an angle because this bit here is curved so I need to work out the best spot to cut that and it looks like I just need to cut it straight as close as I can next to the old muffler. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take a measurement of somewhere on the car to the exhaust. That way, um, because it's all, it's all still hanging from the original hangers, so I want to measure that so I know where it needs to go back to. Because when I drop the hangers off the back exhaust, um, the muffler's going to fall down and then I'm going to weld everything up but then I need to then jack it, like push the pipe back up to its original spot then I can work out where to put the hangers on the back because I'm welding new hangers to the new exhaust pipe but um, reusing the original rubber hanger mounts so I'm going to make a mark on this then I know what distance needs to um, what distance the pipe needs to be from part of the chassis. That way I can get it all back to uh, standard height. So I know from this point of the car to that part of the exhaust pipe is two inches. Now I can go ahead and drop the um, the old exhaust down, so undo the mounts and the hangers, drop the exhaust down, that way I can get in there to cut the muffler off the original exhaust pipe. Now it's dropped down, I can get in there with my saw, and cut the old muffler off. Alrighty, time to get cutting. That is heavy. It's got a bit of weight to it. Ugh. Alrighty, now I've cut the uh, old muffler off. Just gonna clean up the pipe where um, where it's come off of so that my two and a half inch piece can slip over the top of it and then I can set up the new piece and see how it's going to look. So because now there's no um, there's no muffler on the back part um, a bit of weight has been taken off the the exhaust pipe so the pipe is actually lifted back up um, so I just checked the measurement. And the measurement I did before was two inches and now it's at one and a half inches. So I actually have to pull that pipe down to the two inch mark so then I can get it to the original height. Otherwise, it might foul 
um, up that way of the exhaust a bit more. And also, if I try and put the pipe on, it'll probably hit the bumper bar. So I need to chock something in here to drop it down to that two inch mark. That'll do. Alrighty, so next piece of the puzzle is to sit this in place and uh, see where we need to trim it. Have a look how far it comes out the back of the bumper. See, now, see where we need to trim it and then cut it and then we can weld it in place. What do we reckon? We just leave it like that. No, that's dumb as fuck. Just got this tape on here to sort of measure where I'm going to cut it. Just roughly having a look at it. That's kind of like um, if you look at the bumper and you come straight down, that's basically in line with the uh, top of the bumper there. So it's sticking out a little bit, looks a little bit raw, you know, a little bit dirty, a little bit retro. Um, yeah, I reckon that looks all right there. I might cut it there and then if I don't like it, I can always trim it back later on. I'm definitely not gonna stick it out this fucking far, trust me. Not bad! Righty, so one last test fit before we get welding. <laughs> yeah. Righty, now I can weld the two and a half inch to three inch adapter to the three inch pipe then I can fit it up to the car and then weld it to the original exhaust pipe. Alrighty, now I've got the uh, adapter welded to the three inch pipe. I can set it up on the car, tack it in place, make sure it's in a good spot and then finish welding the rest of it. And don't forget to disconnect your battery terminal when you're welding on the car Otherwise, you might fry your whole electrical system. We do have a slight gap here. Um, I think it's just because the angle that this was cut out, it wasn't going to be perfect. Um, perfectly shooting out the back. So, We've got a fair bit of purchase under here and on this side that we can weld to. And then this, this bit here, um, we might just have to fill up with the welder. I might try and get um, a bit of timber, put a bit of timber on here, give it a bit of a whack with the hammer and then see if I can get that to go back any further. Otherwise, if not, I'm just gonna have to, uh, I'm just gonna have to fill that up with weld, which isn't the biggest problem in the world. So let's see if it closes that gap up. Oh yeah. Close it up a bit more, so that'll be easier to weld. Now that that's slipped on a bit more, it might have moved the exhaust pipe a little bit at the bumper bar, so I've just got to check that. Still in the middle, pretty much, that's good. And then I'll just check the the pipe where, uh, where I measured it, make sure that that's still that two inches, because um, it might have jumped or moved that chock that I put in there. So 
So I'll just double check that and then we can get welding. Yep, still two inches, so that's great. Now that that's all good, we can weld this on. Now time to try and fill that hole. That actually wasn't too bad. So I'm gonna use the um, original hanger rubbers. I've got some 10 mil hanger rod here. So that'll go through these. And then all I have to do is just um, bend it down, heat it up, bend it down, get it into um, its correct spot so that it'll meet the exhaust pipe and then I can weld it onto the exhaust pipe. All right, so I've got the original rubber hangers mounted back up into the car. One there and one there. And then I'm gonna grab this, this hanger rod and basically I'm gonna hold it up to here, sort of work out how far it needs to go into the hanger, mark it, then I know that I need to heat it up there and then bend it down. And then the angle is, I don't know, maybe 45 degrees. So I need to work that out somehow, don't I? How am I going to work the angle out? Okay, so I just got a welding rod and just used it because it's easier to bend and I can just I could just tweak it a little bit just to get the right angle. So I've chucked it up in this one. Made it sure that it's hard up against the rubber and then it's touching that exhaust pipe. The one up here is going to be different angle so i need to get another rod, welding rod or straighten this one out and uh test it to see what uh what angle i need there so i'm going to do this one first weld it on so yeah going to heat this uh hanger rod up now and i can bend it into shape and then give it a test fit Looks pretty good. Righty, now it's cooled off. I'm gonna give her a test fit. I've put a bit of silicon spray on here just to uh, make it a bit easier to slip into the old um, rubber mount there. Would you look at that? Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna push this rod up and put tension on this hanger and then weld it to there. Because remember our, um, our, our exhaust pipe is chocked a little bit further up 
um, and when I pull that chock out, the exhaust pipe actually springs up because it doesn't have the weight of the muffler on there anymore. It's only got the weight of the pipe and the weight of the pipe isn't heavy enough to keep it um, in line with where it, with where it needs to be. Um, so what will end up happening is the exhaust pipe's gonna touch the, the bumper and we don't want that. So I'm gonna pre-tension this, push it up and then weld it on. So that way when we pull the chock out, if this, if this moves, it's only gonna be the slightest little bit because they're already pre-tensioned up against the rubber mount. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Now that's welded on there, I can just get the grinder and just go zing and zing that through and cut that excess off. Alrighty, so got the other one all bent up as well, and it's sitting nice and pretty. So now I'm gonna um, now I'm gonna weld that rod to the exhaust pipe. And that was the last weld, folks. Let's take this clamp off, pull the chock out, and see how she sits. Alrighty, guys, so we pulled the chock out of there. Measured that, made sure it was still that two inches. It's still good. Got a nice gap in here. Nice and solid. Beautiful. All on the original uh, hangers, which is sick. Now it's time to put the wheel back on, lower it down, give it a start up and see how she sounds. Gonna do a cold start, see what it sounds like. Yeah. So there you have it kids, rear muffler deleted with a bit of three inch pipe. Looks pretty good, pretty raw, but I like it. Um, now I'm gonna play a clip of the uh, stock standard exhaust. And now I'm going to play a clip of the muffler delete with the new 3 inch pipe. That's actually heaps louder than I expected. Like heaps louder. But um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Especially, it was only $100 worth of parts. So yeah, not a bad little upgrade for the E30, E46. Not E36, E46. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, leave a comment. And uh, if you want to continue watching more of the drift car build, please hit that subscribe button um, to stay up to date with all the recent videos. Thanks again, guys, and peace.
but he cut myself being a hooligan. Mum! 